Hello everyone, Russell Wright from Network Empire and ThemeZoom.com. Many of you already know that we do teach live certification events and one of the things that we talk about in the WR2 or your web ring, actually your WRS2, which is your WRS2 is a web ring, which is your social web ring for your non-branded websites. What we do is we teach people in live events how to build a massive online traffic empire with your primary branded content in the WR1 and the social primary platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Pinterest which are branded to your site on the second layer. We also teach how to build a massive blog empire that is WordPress blogs or other sites like Joomla and Drupal that are located on uh, platforms that you own on your own servers hopefully and hopefully you're ambitious enough to own your own servers and then WRS2 we teach you how to do some pretty unusual things it's beyond just bookmarking it actually drives traffic as well as backlink simultaneously to your money sites all of this stuff moving forward and inward to your primary sites now one of the parts of that is what we have been calling the Twitter army and in the Twitter army which is primarily the WRS2 some of our users have found that they are having challenges using softwares that, let, let me just say, Twitter has a less than friendly relationship with. Okay, we're going to speak pretty much about TweetAdder. Okay, tweet attacks, those of you who've known all the Black Hat Twitter softwares out there, these are not software systems that Twitter likes. And they are working avidly and they've even openly discussed the problems they have with TweetAdder and tweet attacks. So what I've done is in the private members area, which is at the end of this article uh, below this video, I'm going to be revealing to you what myself and some of my friends, partners, and outsourcers have discovered the proper settings need to be to make sure that Twitter accounts do not get banned if you decide to use these software systems that Twitter does not approve of. Okay, if you were going to use them, I'm not suggesting publicly here that you use them. I'm just saying that if you were going to use them, these are the settings that you would need to have to not get your accounts regularly bound, uh, banned. Okay, We're going to show you that on the next video, which is, again, inside for members only. And one other thing I was going to tell you, um, the Twitter army is something that we do teach. In other words, we can show you how to build it on the WRS2. Please do remember that you need to stay within the Twitter terms of service and you need to stay within the Twitter's terms of service especially for WRS1 that's your web ring social network you do not the last thing you ever want is to have one of your branded accounts with 40 to 80,000 followers or greater to be banned okay and so go ahead and go on to the next video I'm going to show you some really important tips on how to set up tweet adder if you decide you want to take the risk and build a Twitter army as discussed for members only at our private live events. Right now I'm getting anywhere from a thousand to two thousand visitors per day just on small Twitter armies. I can access them anywhere in the world on the various machines I have around the world using either go to my PC or Windows Remote Desktop. Okay, And I just log in there and do my thing. So. See you on the next video.